Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Edition. My Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, all I've done off camera is gone and gathered some more apricorns to give to Kurt. Uh, Kurt has presumably finished my apricorns from last time. Yes, thank you. Friend balls. Nice. Those will be handy. All right, now what do I want to give him today? What do I have the most of? Probably the pink ones or the black ones. Pink ones. All right. Pink ones it is. Don't tell me what they are. I'll find out tomorrow. Um, so, uh, which brings us to where we are now. Um, we are sitting at our levels. 13s and 14s. Not bad. Pretty handy. Uh, and, uh, basically, we're going to take down Bugsy, is the plan. Um, I'm going to use Vivera and Kangaroo for pretty much the entire gym. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, save now as well, uh, because, you know, uh, has been uh, documented frequently thus far in this playthrough. Uh, I've got a buggy-ass copy of Soul Silver. Uh, which likes to bug out and freeze and all that good stuff. So I will uh, take advantage of the fact that you can save almost any time. Uh, let's see here. There's a bug catcher over there, which means I need to get on which one to fight him. This one. I know it's t you know I could follow the correct path of the puzzle the whole time and you know get through the gym in a minimum amount of time but you know I want to max out my Pokemon and get as many levels as I can because Bugsy can be trouble he can be trouble so I, I don't want to get myself into unnecessary trouble by not maxing out my uh, abilities if that makes sense a Weedle keep killing keep killing um I'm trying to remember if Bugsy's Scyther uses U-Turn during that fight. Because if he does, I want to leave with Pursuit instead of Peck. And I don't remember which one he does. Uh, Vivera took care of the Weedle, took care of Bugcatcher Owl, and now I've got to run back and heal because I don't want to have to burn an Antidote for no reason since I'm so close to the Pokemon Center as it is, so... I'm just going to assume that, uh, um, well, and, you know, the additional fact is that poison can't kill your Pokemon as of fourth generation anyway, but, so I, I wouldn't have to worry about that, you know, counting footsteps and all that jazz, but all the same, I'm just going to try to be careful about it. So yeah, first gem trainer down, we will progress on, and, uh, fight the next gym trainer. Um, so how's everybody been doing? Um, I've been thinking about something going forward. Um, I know that later in the game, uh, I will have the opportunity to do the uh, gold silver or heart gold soul silver safari zone, which is customizable, right? Um, how do you guys want me to rule about that? Like, what's what's okay and what's not okay? Like, when can I get catches? When can I not get catches? Because I know some people count each area of the Safari Zone as its own area, and you can get a catch in each area. Whereas others just count the whole Safari Zone as just uh, one area, and that's, that's all you get. You get one catch for the whole thing. But the thing is that the first catch of the Safari Zone is always, by default, a Geodude. Like... Baoba makes you catch a Geodude, which I already have anyway, you know, following, you know, the fact that I have Kangaroo in my party anyway. So what I'm thinking is I'll do all the side quest parts of the uh, Safari Zone. If I get on this bug right now, it's going to send me to fight those twins. Um, if I just uh, go through all the side quest part of the... Uh, Safari Zone, basically the park to get it set up to where you can customize it, and then I, after that, um, do it, do the Safari Zone, you know, uh, set it up with as many different areas as I can put in there, 
And then I'll do one catch in each area because the catch lists are different in each area. Is that a, an acceptable way of doing it? You know, getting it set up, you know, basically not counting my first catch like that. Is that the way I should do it? Uh, feel free to let me know your opinion on the matter. I'm curious as to what you guys think about how I should do that. Uh, yes, please let me know uh, what the course of action should be regarding the eventual Safari Zone visit. This is important stuff, folks. Okay, we knocked out the twins. I forgot to hit the switch. Well, that's okay. I still need to hit... I need to hit this first switch anyway to go fight that bug catcher. I had the game freeze the last time I was right at this spot. So let me save here again. No harm in that. And you, I've, I'm recording everything, and you guys would be able to tell if I edited the video. Like if I tried to save scum, or I lost somebody on Bugsy or something like that. You guys would be able to tell if I did that. Because I can tell if somebody does that. Especially if they're an amateurish, doesn't know how to edit videos like I am. So, you know, that's, what I, that's all I'm saying. But you'd be able to tell if I did that. His grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough, too, he says. And I saved all the Slowpoke, which is pretty impressive. And you have a Paris. Enjoy your quad weakness. Goodbye, sir. I said good day. Vivera just crushed it. No problem there. Okay, so back on the bug. Then we'll reactivate this switch. Go back to the twins. Activate the switch over there. Then we'll activate the red switch. And then we'll have our shot against Bugsy. Who is trouble? I remember that he is definitely trouble. Okay, hit D switch. And then we go dare, and dare, and dare, and dare, and then we hit the red switch. And then we use a potion on our bird. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Potion D bird, yes. Okay. I'm probably a little bit under leveled for this. But if I can just get through that Scyther of his, I'll be in good shape. And I've got a Geodude. So, you know, if Vivera gets to be in trouble, then I'll just use him. Let's do this, Bugsy. We going for badge number two. Alright, send him out. 17 Scyther versus 15 Spiro. Here we go, Peck! Okay, focus energy could be trouble. Peck does that much. Okay, quick attack. Well, bugger. <sighs> Fucking... Nah, whatever. There's our first death of the run. Hopefully we don't get any more. And there's a U-turn. That hurt a lot, but... Kangaroo's gonna be safe for a little bit. Actually, let's use defense curls while he's got the Metapod in there and just max out Kangaroo's defense so that that Scyther won't be able to kill him. You see, I'm, I'm strategizing. I'm thinking. So that's three defense curls. Let's go ahead and uh, heal up here. Yes, this is good. Tackle is nothing. Okay, we need two more defense curls after this one. Not a problem. That was a good idea. I'm really glad he did that. All I had to do was survive that first... Uh, I, I never should have had my Spiro in to start this fight. That was a totally preventable death, and I'm upset about it. Oh, <sighs> well. Okay, kill it. Well, okay, now kill it. He'll probably put out his Kakuna next. No? Okay, it's the Scyther. All right, I've got maxed out defense. What you gonna do now, bro? U-turn? Six. Six damage. That's what I'm talking about. Kakuna is not a threat. In fact, he is so little of a threat, I'm actually gonna put in somebody else to get some experience here. <laughs> but it's gonna be Flugelhorn. Oh, son of a bitch. I shouldn't have done that. Now all of those, all of those delicious, wonderful... Um, uh, defense curls are gone. Should not have done that. 
In fact, I'm going to uh, fix this error by putting Kangaroo back in and starting the defense curl rushes again. <sighs> I'm dumb. One. This is this is fine. I mean, it's sloppy, but I'll get through it. Two. All right, all right. Three. All right, all right. Four. Ah, poison. Better heal that. That's four defense curls. Status healers. Antidote. Only got a couple of these. And then five. And then six. Okay, and then we'll give a potion to get close to maxing out Kangaroo's hit points again. Another poison sting, blah, 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 blah. Rock throw, finish it off. Okay, after another poison sting. <coughs> there we go. Now we just have the Scyther with six defense curls active. And we get a bonus level for Flugelhorn because we're cool like that. Let's do this. All right, Rock Throw should be all it takes to knock out this Scyther, seriously. Okay, that's not going to work this... Are you fucking kidding me? Break through all of my god... Oh, son of a... I'm not happy. Now we're in trouble here. Put it to sleep, Saw. Okay. Now we'll put in somebody who can deal some damage. I can't believe he cr fucking crit me again. Who do I have who can deal damage to this guy? You're my only hope. <laughs> All right, down goes another one. Wow, three U-turns, three criticals. This or a quick, quick attack and. Two year tunes, criticals, all criticals, only ever criticals. This is bullshit. <sighs> total, total bullshit. I bet I bet he's not going to be fully paralyzed once this whole fight. He's just going to get to hit every time. Never ever fully paralyzed. 50% shot my ass. Oh, finally got one. All right. Just keep at it, Flugelhorn. You're my only hope. One more. Whew. Made it through. Lost three Pokemon. <sighs> Including my Geodude and my Ghastly, which I was really hoping to use. A Spearow I can give or take, but I really wanted to use my Geodude and Ghastly, especially considering that I knew how to evolve them. Bugsy, you're a cunt. And, of course, it's not even the worst Pokemon I've got coming up. I still have to deal with Whitney. <sighs> You're a cunt, Bugsy. <sighs> Man. Yeah, it's great. You and your bullshit crits. Let's do a death toll. Oh, no, wait. I still have my Ghastly. Okay, that's good. That's good. He'll be handy. He'll be really handy against that fucking mill tank. But I lost my Geodude and my Spearow and my Sentret. <sighs> Time to go put him in a heaven box. I'm really unhappy. This was supposed to be better. And it wasn't. This was supposed to be the time when I had a shot. Now I'm stuck in this loop. Okay, I'll be able to get out of it on this one. 
All right. Yeah, the long way out. All right. So let's run to. The, we we're we're not dead yet. We still got a couple of backups in the PC too. Uh, I think I've got a Rattata in there. Or perhaps. I know I've got a Rattata in there. Do I have anything else in the PC? I don't remember. Well, let's go find out. Because now I guess I need to. I was really hoping I'd be able to make it through that gym without any deaths. But Bugsy's a jackass with that Scyther and his bullshit crits. He was even getting crits when he hadn't used his fucking focus energy. Just bull... That, that, whole, th that whole fight is bullshit. I'm unhappy. But, is a Nuzlocke run, deaths are not supposed to stop us. We gotta press on. Alright, let's go ahead and put folks into the uh, unfortunate death box. Let's see here. So, box 18. Wallpaper. Let's see. There we go. Okay, and name. Actually, just to make it feel a little bit worse, like it should. going to have it be negligence because that's anybody who dies is going to be negligence on my part thank you for what you gave me when you guys were working I wish I'd taken better care of you Uh, okay. Well, uh, we do have six Pokemon in uh, box one. So we certainly have some people as backups here. Um, I did go back and catch that unknown, by the way, obviously. Uh, let's take our Hoot Hoot for our flyer backup. Uh, we got a Weedle in the box. Oscar. forgot about Oscar. Uh, Request is still in the box. We got Weasel in the box. Well, we'll take a uh, mosquito. Damn it, didn't get him. Uh, we'll take Oscar and uh, 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 let's see, Oscar and Weasel. I'll probably wind up replacing one of them or both of them, perhaps, depending on uh, who I catch in the next couple of routes. Uh, we got the forest coming up. Let's go. S Man, if we're lucky, we'll catch a shroomish in the forest. I would really, really... Oh, wait. Ooh, I just remembered. We got a fight with Silver coming up, don't we? Uh, let me see here. Who do we got? Three level 14s? That should be enough for Silver, right? Let's do it. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket's returned? What? You beat them? Quit lying. You serious? Well, let's see how good you are. You're a jackass, Silver, but you're not as much of a jackass as Bugsy. What do you got? Oh, hey! Um, look at that. See how my balls are rotating there? And how the game is, even though I'm hitting buttons, here, I'll put it close to the microphone so you can hear it. Nothing's happening. The game froze. The game froze. I don't believe this. You know what this means? We're going to get another shot at Bugsy, unfortunately. I don't want another shot at Bugsy. <sighs> because I won the fight and I had losses, and that's exactly what a freaking Nuzlocke is supposed to be. And I get another shot at it. I get a second chance. I didn't want a second chance. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, I could still easily have people die. That's what happens against Bugsy, um, even when I thought I was prepared for this fight. So I guess what I'll do is pause the recording here 
and uh, I'll do the Bugsy fight again. Uh, you guys can watch me, and then I'll see you in a second. Because I don't think I've fought that... Uh... Actually, let me see here. Yeah, this is still exactly as it was before. I haven't fought that bug catcher yet. So I'll fight him, and then we'll do the Bugsy fight, and I'll see you guys in a second. And here we are again. We're going to be more careful this time. Maybe I'll lose fewer Pokemon this time, but... I could easily lose more Pokemon this time, depending on how the fight goes, because, well, Bugsy is just not fair. This time, we're going to at least put our, our Geodude out in front uh, to uh, maybe deal with that Scyther before um, we can put in somebody else to uh, fight those uh, cocoons he's got. I didn't want another shot at this. I should have just taken... I wish I could have taken the first result. Focus energy, rock throw. Okay, it survived the rock throw, but can you survive two? See, now if I just put Kangaroo out there in front, Scyther wouldn't have been a problem, and I would have had no deaths. <sighs> I'm retconning this, but under protest. If you guys think that I should put... Um, uh, should go ahead and put those three in the dead box uh, anyway because of how this happened I, would, I wouldn't say no I think that's fair um, but I'm going to leave it up to you my viewers as to what I do with this I personally wouldn't have a problem with doing that but if you guys think that I should carry on with these guys still alive and you know treat that first fight with Bugsy is a bad dream then we'll do that but I'm going to I'm I'm definitely going to need immediate feedback on this on how to proceed because I do want to proceed but I don't want to unfairly drop extra experience on some pokemon that don't deserve it I mean it's just a matter of grinding afterwards if that's the case but I I want to play this as fair as possible. So I'll leave it up to you my viewers as to what I should do in this circumstance. You were here. You saw what happened. You know what happened. So let me know what I should do. I am not sure how to proceed or what would be considered fair. So let me know. I I want to proceed. I want to go forward in the fairest way possible and I want you guys to tell me exactly what that fair way is because you know, this is... I don't know how fair this is. I It's esta established fact that this has been happening, and it's annoying as hell. And I don't know if it's fair for me to go forward with those Pokemon alive when in the first fight, they died. So, um, let me know what I should do. I can easily just put them in the dead box as though it never happened. It, it, but then again, it doesn't seem fair because if I just done what I did in this fight, you know, none of that shit would have happened. None of them will be dead in the first place. So, I guess that's... I, I guess I kind of have to end the video here because I don't want to do that silver fight with Pokemon who don't deserve to be there if uh, that's the case. So, yeah. I will uh, save right here. And uh, you guys can let me know what I should do going forward. In the meantime, I guess, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like it, you know, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to do that. And uh, this is Icepick, and I'll see you guys next time.